If you're tuning in to me because I'm the expert in parenting, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Keep watching. Here's the thing. The expert is you. It's not rocket science. Rocket science is easy. You take some information, you take some instructions, you take some material, you put it together, poof, you got a rocket. With parenting, oh my gosh, my personality, the child's personality, my spouse's personality, as we're growing, as we're mixing, and our moods, and their moods, and the environment, it's so many variables that can come into play here. You're the expert in what's going in. All I'm doing is offering my experience, my strength, and my hope that what I'm giving you can possibly make your life a little better. I started learning about children when I was in 11th grade because the high school that I went to had a nursery school. And I was fortunate enough to do this, participate in this nursery school program in my high school in 11th and in 12th grade. But in 11th grade, I was not allowed to interact with any of the children. I was given a log, and all I could do was log one child a week. And what that meant was this. I would observe that child just straight on, not interpret, just observe. They picked up the block with their left hand. They switched it to the right hand. They looked to the left. They dropped the blocks. They grabbed the doll out of someone's hand. They pulled left. They pulled right. They Not they wanted the doll and they went over. Not they looked over here and saw this. I don't know what they saw when they looked over. I can't assume what they thought. But by logging them and learning their behaviors and learning how they reacted and all the different children, I started to learn the heart and the mind of a child. And it, re it sort of uh, freed up any of the memories that I had inside me. I don't know how it worked, but I was able to connect with children in a way that I could get to their heart and to their mind. Okay, and then of course I went on to college and then child development and early childhood education and then elementary education and blah, 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 blah. Years of experience, put it all together, crisis counselor, working many times with high school children who I got, that's where I wound up getting thrown in life, was working with at-risk high school students, junior high, who had so many problems that I kept thinking to myself, wow, if I could have had these children before they were five, the first five years of life, so important. If I could have taught them the skills that they needed in the first five years of life, perhaps we wouldn't be having such issues at this point. Maybe it's not too late. So what I did was I wrote, I went to college again and had a, another degree in crisis counseling, whatever. And then I, 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 I got my first B in college. How? How? Because the teacher said, there are three components to a successful drug program. And I said, well, with all due respect, there must be four. He said, no, there's three. I said, well, we don't have a successful drug program. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> so what I did was I wrote one. I wrote one called Cycle Jumping, and it was a, a matter of taking these students from a violent cycle of life to a peaceful cycle of life using a combination of human relationship skills. Absolutely fascinating program. And the relationship skills are the skills that they could have gotten in their first five years of life and sixth and seventh and eighth there's many skills that sometimes and somehow we automatically pick up as we're going along but when you have a child and you see wow they don't know how to make a friend it's your job to teach them right but if you don't know how to make a friend how can you teach them if you say I have a child who's not performing well in school and you say well this child needs to learn how to perform well in school well it's our job to teach them but if you weren't successful in school how do you teach them right so there's many social skills oh my child's having uh he, he's a follower he needs some leadership skills but if you don't have the leadership skills or you don't know what they are how do you teach them right so I've, I've written a parenting manual it's a, it's available if you just text me below i'll send it to you it's a it, it, it has all these skills in it that our children need. And I'll tell you one more secret. 
1977, when I had my first child, I read the most amazing parenting book that I've ever read. This parenting book is called The One Minute Mother. It takes one minute to read the book. That's how simple it is. But it's life-changing. It's absolutely life-changing. So uh, I suggest that you read that. <laughs> I get no kickbacks from any of this stuff. I'm only putting this out here because that's your bubby pin for today. I'm bubby. I'm a grandmother. I like to share these things because if you're going through what I've been through in life, maybe this could help you out. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, share with your friends. That's your bubby pin for today.